Hello and welcome to another video of time series forecasting. In the previous video, I talked about the general concept of cross validation, but the problem with the many of the cross validation methods that I described previously was we cannot drop any part of the data randomly from a time series. So essentially, uh, there's a structure of a time series and it's uh, not possible to drop any observation or part of uh, the data set right uh, from the middle of uh, a series. Hence, uh, we need to modify the concept of cross-validation for the case of uh, time series. So here is the logic behind uh, cross-validation uh, for time series data. But the intuition is going to be the same as my previous video. We're going to leave a part of the data set here as well. So what we do here is uh, we can uh, calculate cross-validation in different ways. We can either use one-step cross-validation or multi-step uh, cross-validation. So if we are using one-step cross-validation, our forecast horizon is one. And what we do is we use uh, a part of the data set, let's call this uh, training set. It could be just one observation. Based on this training set, we forecast a value one period in the future. Now this is our test set. So again here, we are using this part of the data set to fit the model and we are predicting a value which was outside uh, the sample and from this we can calculate forecasting error let's call it mean squared error one which will be again the difference between the first value and our predicted first value and we're gonna square it up so that is our first error in the next step we're gonna include this observation that we dropped earlier in the model now this will be our training set we're going to fit the model and then we are going to predict a value like this third value and we can calculate uh, mean squared error 2 which will be the difference between the second value and the second forecasted value we're going to square it up we're going to keep doing this until our final observation we're going to drop our final observation from the data set now this will be our test set and from this we can calculate the tth mean squared error which which will be the difference between the tth value and the tth uh, predicted value at the end of it we're gonna sum up all these uh, mean squared errors and calculate cv which will be the mean value of uh, these mean squared errors right so this is uh, the one step uh, cross validation we can also apply the same concept to calculate multi-step uh, cross-validation. In this case, what we will do is we will use this training set and uh, we're going to go one, two, three, four steps in the future. So in this case, our forecasting horizon is four. And uh, now this fourth observation, this will be our test set. The, we're going to leave out these observations. This will be our training set and uh, we're going to forecast four periods ahead. In step two, we're gonna include this observation in the data set and we're gonna forecast this value. Now this will be our test set. We're gonna keep going in this direction like this. And finally, we'll have this test set. This will be our final test set. And uh, we're gonna keep calculating mean squared error for each of uh, these uh, and obviously at the end of it we're going to calculate cv or cross validation as the mean value of all these errors okay essentially the forecasting method that will give a minimum value of uh, cross validation that will be the best method so any method that will give us a minimum value that will be the best forecasting method all right i'll see you in the next video bye bye